And a very good morning to you. Welcome to our Bird Notes for this Sunday morning. If we were to take our cue for these discussions from the birds that can be seen only in this area, we could talk for a good part of the fall and the winter, and here in early spring, about just ducks. This area, the Chesapeake Bay and the Carolina Sounds and other inland waters, has been for many, many centuries prime duck wintering grounds. The ducks and the geese, which breed on the Canadian tundra, move south in the fall, and many come to our corner of the east coast for the winter season. The Canada goose, brant, and snow and blue goose, all here. The ducks are many, mallards and black ducks, of course, but also the old squall, now called the long-tailed duck, pintails, gadwalls, widgeons, shovelers, teals, and the bay and sea ducks are here, too. The redheads, canvasbacks, sculps, ringnecks, scoters, golden eyes, buffleheads, and the three mergansers. And then there is the ruddy duck. This one is different from most of the rest. The ruddy duck is ruddy in breeding plumage, at least the males are anyway. But in winter, both the male and the female are a dullish brown. The ruddy duck best identified by its white cheek and dark cap. Its overall appearance is simply a small brown duck, stubby looking with a short, thick neck and a tail often held at about 45 degrees most of the time, but when courting, the male's tail is almost straight up. The bill has to me always seemed cartoonish, giving the ruddy duck an overall comic appearance. This is reflected in some of the many names given to this duck over the years, mainly by hunters who in the past years shot this duck extensively. The ruddy, like the prized canvasback, feeds on grasses and not on animal food and therefore has a most agreeable flavor. Anyway, the ruddy duck has been called, among other things, batterscoot, blackjack, blatherskite, dipper, Bullneck, bumblebee duck, creek coot, dabber, dinky, dopper, dumb bird, heavy tailed coot, hickory head, mud dipper, ruddy bird, paddywhack, saltwater teal, spoonbill, butterbill, stiff tail, tough head, and fool duck. The ruddy duck might appear to be a fool duck on land. It walks very poorly and thus seldom, and it doesn't too choose to fly very often either. It is truly at home, in and on the water, and will dive or simply sink out of sight to escape danger. And once submerged, these ducks will swim underwater and pop up some distance away. So if you would see a ruddy duck, go to a freshwater lake or pond in the winter and look for a small, pudgy, slightly comical duck with white cheeks and its tail stuck up in the air. And then scare it. If it disappears underwater, It's probably a ruddy duck.